All right. Um, today we're gonna continue to solve um, the code interview questions um, on code signal. Okay. Um, as you, so I didn't have the chance to introduce this website yet, but uh, as you guys can see, it has uh, several components. Let me open up my simple mouse locator. So it has this interview practice and company challenges. Uh, for example, we have this, oh, Cora, an Uber Dropbox. Um, it's pretty cool, I guess. And we have some difficult test for example this uh, daily challenge um this one is uh, pretty difficult i've already tried it mm. and uh, my code is uh takes too long time to execute but let's uh back to uh arcade uh we finished um, the journey begins end of the ocean smooth sailing we're here okay uh, let's continue to solve this all right let's read the question first uh, let me put my browser a little bit bigger. Uh, it says, given two strings, find the number of common characters between them. Oh, th this is not too bad. Okay. Um, for example, um, S1 is A, A, B, C, C. And S2 is ADCAA. Uh, the output should be a common characters count S1, S2 is three. Okay. Since the string have three common characters, two A's. Um, that's right. And one C. Okay. Oh, that that's so. The the common characters, um, they don't have to be in the same position. Oh, that's very interesting. Let's see. For example, test one, the expected test is uh, test two. Expected output is four. How about test three? Test the three, we have A, B, C, A. And this is X, Y, Z, B, A, C. Um, it should be three. I can already see a potential problem to implement an algorithm to detect is how do you handle like repetitive um, Thing. I think it's best we use uh, uh, Python. There is uh, some uh, nice function called set. Let's test it here. Okay. So let me name this script office hour uh, number three. Where that? Why don't, oh, right here. Um, okay, oh3.py. All right, and let's enter the cell mode. So this is, and let's copy down the problem. Mm, it's called a uh, common character count. Okay. Um, so here I'm gonna demonstrate what happens when we set. First, of course, we import numpy as mp, 
and we uh, start up the uh, Python interactive terminal right here. All right, my computer is a bit slow, but um, okay. Um, what happens here is I want to introduce a command called set. Okay. Uh, for example, for example, if we have a set, um, and we have let's say a equals um, a list. Let's say a string. Let's say this is a uh, one, two, uh, five, and six. B equals. Um, let's say this is a uh, uh, one, two, but seven and eight. And uh, uh, how? If we use a set. Okay. Um, I kind of forget set indices. So um, the iterable, okay. Set is iterable. So let, let's try AB. Uh, unhashable type list. Oh, I see. So maybe I should do this. Unhashable type list. Okay. Um, how about A plus B? Okay, this better. Um, so we have a set. And by the way, a set uh, should be a special type of variable. It should be like set type. Yes. Okay, a set type means uh, um, if you add a new element into the set, if it's repetitive with one of, uh, for example, um, I think set there is a several like, uh, uh, for example, I can have set A plus B and there should be like difference. Oh, uh, there we go. So uh, difference, if I want to remove uh, one and two, I just put one, two, let's say what happens. Yep, so we remove one, two, uh, we get that. Okay, and now here's my idea to solve the uh, character count problem. Uh, first, let's copy down our first test from the code signal. Let's let's try this one. This one is a bit. Uh, this one is a bit more um, like general than the first one. So S one is that we let S one equals uh, A B C A and uh, uh, S two equals uh, Y Z uh, B A C. Okay. First we uh, we. We compose the list of it. Uh, how do we compose list? Is we do something like S1 list equals I for I. Okay, let, let's use string STRS string uh, S for S in S1 and S2 list is. S for S in S2. Okay. Let's, if we see S1 list, we're going to get a list, but uh, uh, as we guys, we can see here, okay, uh, we have a list of uh, um, A, B, C, A. Okay. And uh, uh, we have a set of difference. Okay, let's let. Uh, uh, Let's let C equals uh, set A plus B. Okay, so C what we have, we have copy clear difference update intersection. Um, yep, okay. So for example, what I wanna do is uh, 
I think I can directly do set, right? I don't have to use a list. Oh, wait, because we have a repetitive character, so we have to do list, my bad. Okay, uh, or we can directly do uh, this, s list equals um, s for s in s1 plus s2. And this s list is this. Okay, so we basically we join that one. Oh, we can, oh, okay, okay. Wait, we still, we should do S1 list. Okay, we should do, uh, we should do this first. Okay, and let's try S1 list set, S1 list difference. S2 list. Oh, it's empty. Really? Um, S1 is what? S1 is A, B, C, A. Okay, so if you have that, then it's an empty set. That's right. Okay, let, let's, this is, this is kind of special. Let's try um, a not so special example. Uh, four, this should be three, okay. S1 equal that, S2 equal that. Okay, how about now? It's B, okay. Um, so S1 does not have B. S2 does have, okay, so if we do, uh, if we simply do intersection, let's see what happens. How about intersection? We have A and C, um, okay. But we have two A's. Um, and we have one C, okay. So we find the intersection. And what we're gonna do is we count um, the minimum number of in the intersection. So for example, uh, the minimum, the minimum in, uh, in the minimum, the minimum number of character A in string S1. Okay, let me magnify this a bit. In string S1 is, uh, is two, okay. And the minimum number of string C, I'm sorry, the character C in uh, uh, string two is one. And the sum of these two minimum number uh, gets us the number. Okay. Now let's, uh, let's do it. All right. Um, let's before we encapsulate everything in function. Uh, let's just run a script. Okay. Um, let's do first the, uh, the common string a common character is um, set S1 list. And some of you might be um, curious why I'm using S2 list, not a set S2 list. Actually here the intersection is a method used for set. It's automatically converting S2 to set. I, I can do I can do this, but uh, 
the result should be the same. Okay, now, and let's do for uh, for s in the common character, and we check um, the number of occurrence, the s in uh, each of uh, the uh, um, the S one list or uh, S two list. Okay. Um, all I want to do is we do um, so. For example, for this in common character, uh, we count the number of characters uh, in S one list. So now. Um, what we wanna do is uh, is s um, one count equals so one for we we just count the times so for example one for i in okay we just wanna iterate for um in s1 list if okay we still have to do s right um one for i in s1 list if i is the same as s Okay, now let's see S1 count. S1 count, it's, uh, it should be two. We, we print S1 count. Print S1 count. It's one and one. So we have two, that's right. For S in common character. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, um, wait, so the common character is C for um, the second iteration. So let's see, S, S should be C, right? Oh, S is A, really? Why? Oh yeah, for S in common character um, is that, okay. And then we do S2 count. Um, I'm not sure if it's good. Okay. And then we add um, non-common character equals zero first. Okay. And number of common character is plus the minimum of of S1 count and S2 count. Okay, how about this? Oh, INT in the list, of course. Let's see what's this. This is integer, this is a list. Oh, it's a list, that's right. Um, it should be length of that, yeah. I got so it should be length of s1 count. I think the minimum function is kind of too handy because it can also return a list. Um, s1 count and number of char characters should be three for this one. Is it three? Yes, it is three. Okay. Um, so here is uh, what the code does. First, uh, we compute the intersection of um, the two strings. And then for the num then we set a counter. This is a counter for the common character. So, and for example, if we do, let me run the code here. Uh, if we print S, we're gonna get uh, uh, we're gonna get uh, the common character count. 
for example, here we print C and A. Okay. And for example, for the uh, when when S is C, okay, and here we count uh, how many letters in string number one is C, and we count how many letters in string number two is uh, is C, and then we take the minimum of these two, okay, because um, as as we can see here. Um, if if we have two a's here and but three a's here, the a is being only counted twice. But if we have two c here and one c here, c is being counted once. It's a minimum count from the two strings. So I'm thinking this should be good. And now let's copy down this script and. Uh, uh, let me remove this cell and this cell. It should be somewhere like this. Okay. And let's copy our code to uh, code signal. And happily, this is uh, sharing the same keyboard shortcut for VS Code. Okay, let's check it. First, we convert S1 to a list, and we remove this. Uh, and then we take the, uh, the common characters, and we set a counter. And for S in uh, common characters, we do the count, a number of common characters. And then finally, we return this one. Okay, and let's run tests. Oh, nice, test passed to five over five. And let's try submitting our solution. Oh, test passed 10 out of 10. We got it correct in the first try. Okay, so we solved in 20 minutes, which is 98 faster than your Euro average. Okay, all right, not too bad. Close. Let's, let's check some of the solutions, okay some of the fastest Python solutions we had here. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, this is, oh, I see. Okay, this is, this is cool. So it's taking, taking, uh, okay, the, oh, I see. The character, the strings have a, uh, have a function called count. So we're using like a, a more rudimentary way of counting each character than for i in set one. Whoa, this is, this is like, a, this is very, very cool. Okay. Yeah, this, this, this solution is very cool. Um, okay, uh, uh, this is similar. It's just, uh, Okay, so because um, because Python has a nice function, as we can see here, it's set. I doubt, for example, uh, JavaScript has it. Aha, as we can see for JavaScript, uh, we have to use some tricky way of looping to solve the same questions. Um, how about C sharp? I'm curious. Oh, C sharp has a C sharp has a set, so this distinct means set in Python. How about C plus plus? Well, C plus plus is more um, C plus plus is more rudimentary because we have to first set up the variable, and we know it's less than uh, twenty six. Is it? Oh, it's one to fifteen. Oh. oh, the count. You must. Oh, you must most have twenty six. Is it? Oh, it's because you must have twenty six characters. Okay, now I'm stupid. I see. All right. 
Um, okay, let's uh, continue. Um, smooth dating. Uh, the next problem is, is lucky. Okay. Okay, let's read the problem. Uh, ticket number usually consists of an even number of digits. Okay, a ticket number is considered lucky if the sum of the first half of the digit is equal to the sum of the second half. Given um, the ticket number n, determine if it's lucky or not. Um, okay. So um, input integer n. N is n is less than ten to the sixth power. Um, is do I have to check if it's a, if it has even digits? Okay. First, okay. The first. Um, Okay, so all the tests that you, oh, this is already hidden. So well, first of all, let's, um, let's, this is the second, is lucky. Um, first of all, we have to retrieve uh, the digits. Okay, here's an idea is, uh, uh, for example, if we wanna retrieve, um, if we wanna retrieve the, um, by the way, this is less than, uh, less than what? I think it says it's less than 10 to the sixth power, right? So if it's less than 10 to the sixth power and it's even, so it, it at most it is uh, 10 to the sixth power and it's even digits. So um, at most uh, this number is uh, nine, six nines. And what happens is this is what I'm thinking. For example, if uh, n equals one, three, uh, all right. How do we retrieve n digit is we do something like this. For example, the zeroth digit is just uh, uh, n n. This is zero, right? Because this is a this is a this is a remainder. For example, if we do a one, two, three, four uh, quotient is ten, we'll get four. Yep. And what happens is we uh, we set some list. So we return. We do a list. Okay. Uh, and let me uh, do a list here. Um, We have a list, and this should be um, ith digit i for i. Um, it should be uh, n quotient i for i in. And let 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 me use this uh, as q. So n quotient q for q in uh, this ten, a hundred. Uh, a thousand, ten thousand. So we have four zero, five zero. Now let me try. Let me try this. Nine 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 nine. Quotient. Wait. Let me let me try a more general number. One two three five four six. Five zeros. Oh, it's uh, that. Okay. Mm, how about this? So this is one, okay. And then the next digit we should get is one, two. Oh, 
all we should do is we um okay we make the loop we make the loop uh, more straightforward for for i in a hundred maybe i should do reverse okay um five zeros ten thousand a thousand a hundred and ten okay first of all is we um we compute the first digit okay um digits equals empty list. Um, for example, what do we do is we first we, we do digits plus equal. This is, this is a list by the way. So we want to add a list and this list is n integer division i. Okay. And then we remove that uh, n minus equal i, okay. And uh, let's print, let's try if we get the digit correctly, print digits. Oh, <laughs> apparently not. Uh, okay. So n, um, okay. Oh, it, it should be if n, okay. Here it should be something like this. It should be if, uh, if n is greater than i, n minus i. Otherwise we just, we just do nothing, okay. So let's now, let's see, n. n is 120, something is not right. Um, how about digits? It's 13, n is 120, why? Okay, so the first two, we're gonna get zero, zero, that's right. The third one, we're gonna get a one, uh-huh. And then n, Subtract a thousand, and we get, we get a, a oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Subtract, let's time that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not working. Oh, of course not. It should be, uh, I multiply with that, okay. Um, minus equal. Oh, it should be, it should be that. It should be, uh, without the list. Okay, now it's good. Um, now let's see digits. Okay, here we go. Zero, zero, one, zero. Maybe I should do one. And the last digit, how about N right now? n should be zero yeah and the last digit is n and after uh, this is finished uh, digits uh, plus equal n okay so if n is greater than i we add that mm-hmm if n is less than i, we, we don't care. Yeah, which means uh, we should first test the length of i, okay, or not. Um, that's right. So, okay. So here's a here's a better here's a better way of retrieving the digits. Um, uh, 
or not? Um, I want to do that. So here we retrieve the digit. Okay, let's see what happens. Uh, right now, right now it's uh, um, let's check the digits. Right now, this is uh, zero zero one two three zero. So the first two zeros are not necessary, which means we only we only uh, we only do if uh, n greater than i strictly or greater than or equal uh, because all these are odd number of digits. Oh no, this is even, this is even. Okay, so I should do equal. Okay. All right, let's try to see digit again. Okay, now we get the digit. And we just uh, uh, plus, we check if uh, the first half of the digit, so it is a digit, the first half, which is len digits divided by two. No, no good. Integers are none. Oh, okay. So uh, it has to be integer. So let's use integer division. Okay, there we go. And now we just check if uh, if the sum, so we check, for example, we sum the first half, um, sum digits, the first half is length of the digits divided by two. And the, um, let's copy, oops, let's copy this. And then we just change this uh oh whoops it should be inside the bracket okay now let's print these two to see if it happens it's basically we're printing the sum of the first half and the second half okay three three now it should be good Let, let's try let's let's try i think this should be good I think we are able to uh, solve this in one try. Um, right here is lucky n. First, we come up with the digit. Okay. For i in this. Okay. And then we return if the um, the first half is equal to the second half. So we return if the first half, huh, what happened? I didn't copy this correctly. If the first half is equal to the second half, and we just change this uh, uh, index from the first one to the second one. And now let's run it. Run test. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay. So uh, test three, we got false. Okay. That's interesting. One, three, four, zero, zero, eight. Let's try here. Oh, 12, wow, what's that? Why we get that, digits? Oh, we didn't, we didn't count zero. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> I didn't count zero when zero, um, in that, okay, I see. Um, in this way, we, we, so this checking is wrong. If n is greater than i, because after, 
after we subtract um, 4,000, we're left with uh, we're left with n. For example, we, if we print n in each iteration, we'll get uh, after the third iteration, it becomes like eight. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so it becomes eight, and then everything is in trouble. Um, but eight, but eight integer division a hundred, we should get zero. Yes. Um, if n is greater than i, so I, I should do like uh, n integer division that. Not not n integer division divided by that. Uh, Okay, how, how do we fix this? The bug comes from right here because after we re after the iteration gets uh, 4008, after it removed the south digit, we get only eight. But in reality, uh, we want to keep that. But here, this we're in trouble. Maybe we still wanna, maybe we still wanna this. Okay. Oh, invalid syntax where? Uh, oh, okay, there we go. So how about digits? Okay, now it's good. But the thing is we, uh, if we have less than six digits, we're in trouble. Um, what we want to do is actually, maybe we can do this in reverse. Yeah, maybe we should do this in reverse. How do we do this in reverse is we still do digits, okay? But instead of that, Yeah, let me just copy this and use the reverse keyword. Reversed, wait, what? For example, this. Um, digits equals N n equals one uh three four zero zero eight um uh, is integer quotient of i not digits but let's print this first okay we'll get that yep i think we're good now so Essentially, what happens is um, we we don't even have to do that. Um, so what now is um, Okay, so we print n quotient i, but n should become 
should become an integer division. Should become the n integer division of i. Okay. Oh no 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 no, it's it should be it should be ten. Okay. So for example, here we get uh, three, and we integer division again. Uh, we get uh, zero. Okay, next we get 340. Why that's a case? Every time we divide, oh, shouldn't do that. Okay. Now I get it. I think I should just do. Uh, For uh, for s in range six, and we just do this. Let's try see what happens. Um. Okay. Oh, this is good. Okay. Now, now it's okay now. So this is a character. Um, how about uh, when we have less than, uh, uh, less than, okay, we're, we're, we will get zero, zero. But when N is zero, we should stop. That's right. Um, because if, uh, let's do if n is greater than zero, we do this. If it's zero, we just stop. Wait, what? Oh, and, and, and we, we stop. Okay, uh, else uh, we break. Okay. Yep, there we go. Okay, now this, this is a much better way of, this is, this is kind of simple, okay. All right, now let's back. So we, we want to use this routine to get digits. And how do we get digits is uh, we basically, we copy down this uh, routine, okay? And let's check if the digit is good. Yep, the digits are good. And now we return the same thing. Okay, we copy this to is lucky here. Change the indent. Okay. All right, let's run the test again. Okay, it has to pass the 10 out of 10. And let's check if uh, we passed all the tests. Okay. Solving 24 minutes, which is 99% faster than my average. I think I solved, we, we solved this almost increasing sequence in three weeks and that dragged our average a lot. Okay. Sort by height. I think that that's it. That's it for today. But uh, uh, let's still check. Is lucky, like uh, um, the fastest answers. Okay, the fastest Python uh, code is right here. 
Okay, we we set the pivot. Oh, we directly converted to string. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Aha map integer. Oh, this is this is a very cool solution. Okay. Let's copy this uh, right here. So mm -hmm, if we run this, first of all, uh oh somehow. Oh return. So first of all, string uh for example this we'll get a string, okay, and we set the pivot and then left to right is the string and if we map int to the right first of all right is like the the string right no left to right equal that n what's n oh n is one okay so uh let's try uh n is one two okay and let's run this again um, for example, so S right now is that, and right is a string, right? But if we do INT, a string, we'll get uh, this. But instead we use map, INT, we'll get the same, uh, we'll get the same type which is a map. Okay. For example, we do if is map iterable. I think map is an iterable. So for for I in map print I. Okay. Yep, this is an iterable. So essentially we map this function on the string. Okay. This is cool, I would say. This solution is very cool. So that's it for today. Um, we solved the two problems, uh, common characters count and uh, uh, is lucky.